California dream about you. Hey guys, Simcolor here, and today we are going to move on on our Nova Launcher app, and we are going to fix, or better yet, to resolve an issue that we have with the the main uh, grid view, and it isn't this one. Let me just go and check. Not this one. Okay, this one. And the the issue is that uh, we are able to scroll in our main activity, and this isn't supposed to happen. And the way we are going to fix it is by calculating the size of the the activity and uh, setting the height of each and every single uh, cell, individual cell. So let's go on with it, and this will allow us to, in the future, uh, decide what's the, the, the number of uh, rows and columns that we want in our uh, main activity. So let's jump right into our Nova Launcher uh, clone uh, project. And right here, the first thing that we are going to do is to get the cell heights of um, the project, obviously. So I'm going to create an int called cell height. I'm going to go into the home um, initialize home function, or yeah, initialize home function. Okay, let's do it here. And uh, right below the pager app list and adding everything, we are going to say cell height equals to get this get uh, get display content height and this is a function that we are going to create in a second so don't worry and we are going to divide by uh, and I'm going to create another int here number of rows I'm going to set it to 5 and you'll get why I'm doing this in a second for now let's just get the display height not not a getter yeah, I want a, a function so create method okay int and I'm going to move this to the bottom because it isn't that relevant and we don't need to have it like right on our faces so let's go here scroll down and I'm not going to return at the moment I'm going to say final window manager and remember this function is to calculate the height of the screen and we want um, the the useful height so I, we don't want these, uh, I forget the name of this bar, but it is like the toolbar, and we don't want the notification bar uh, to count for that measure. So we are going to have to find a way to discount all of that. I'm going to make this all a bit, a tiny bit bigger. Okay, this should be better for you. And say equals to get window manager. Then we are going to uh, define another variable called points size equals to new point and I'll explain this all in a second please hold up now we are going to define the variables that we are going to use to actually get the height so screen height equals to zero and action bar height equals to zero as well so if get action bar different from null, so if there is an action bar, then we can go ahead and say action bar height equals to get action bar dot get height. As simple as that. And now we also have to get the status bar, which is the notifications bar. And let's just simply say in status bar height equals to zero. And I'm actually going to move this up top because it makes more sense since we are defining all of the ints inside here. Now we are going to say that int resource ID 
and this will allow us to get the, um, the dimensions of the status bar is equal to get resources because the height is defined within uh, the a resource file and yeah so that's why we are doing this get identifier and we simply say status bar height dimen for dimensions obviously and android as a last argument okay now we say if resource id bigger than zero which is the same as saying it exists we have we were able to find a resource id from this uh, uh, function right here then we say status bar high height equals to get resources dot get dimensions pixel size resource id now we have to get the top to get our screen height and this is where we'll be we'll be using the points that you have here and it will uh, using this you are able to calculate how many pixels there are in a screen so let's say int content top equals to now open uh, parentheses and say find view by id android android dot r dot id dot content dot get top and this will get us the the size that we want and now let's simply say window manager dot get not window manager with a capitalized w it is just uh, window manager like this it is the, the this variable right here so dot get default display dot get size and now we uh, pass along the points that we have um, up top so size now let's simply say screen height equals to size dot y Obviously, if you want the, um, the horizontal size, then we say size.x. And we'll probably use it to, uh, uh, again, get set the, the, the number of columns that we want. But for now, let's just uh, focus on height because it is the most important thing right now. OK, now we sim can simply return a simple uh, equation, which will be screen height minus content top minus action bar height minus status bar height and that's it we have our uh, the the size of our this of our uh, display the useful size of our display so this part right here okay now let's go up top again and we have our cell height and now we must pass along uh, the cell height to our view pager adapter so let's simply come in here and pass along another and as you can see there's an error and that's because we must go to our view pager adapter and obviously create another um, argument for for our constructor right here so we'll simply say cell height and int cell height now let's just pass along Okay, and that's it. Now, there's uh, the arrow should disappear, obviously, and now we must pass along again to our um, grid view, which has the app adapter, and uh, this app adapter is what is where we uh, place the items, the icons, and apps into our grid view. So this is the one that we are going to use to control the height of the. Um, of the icons so let's say 
cell height and do exactly the same thing that we did in here. You must go to app adapter. There we go. I need to make this a bit bigger for you guys, okay? And say int cell height. Again, it is exactly the same thing. Create another variable. Now pass along in here. Okay, and now we get to the interesting part where we actually set the height of um, this linear layout in this case. So yeah, to do that, we just need to do one thing and one thing only, which is to come in here and say linear layouts dot layout params LP equals to make it a bit bigger again new linear layout layout params new linear layouts uh, I'm actually going one two f <laughs> okay it is a new linear uh, layout in here I'm sorry it is linear layout dot layout params dot wrap content and this will be for the width which will probably change in the future but for now let's leave it like this and the height will be cell height and now we must apply these uh, layout params to our uh, linear layout which is the container for our image view and label so let's simply grab this and say that m layouts dot set layout params lp and that's it i'm going to actually copy this and move it up top because i believe it makes a, a bit more more sense but yeah i believe that's all so let's just run the app and see if this fix our problem and no oops oh okay we must pass along the cell height in the initialized drawer as well so in the main activity simply add the cell height and because home is being called first um, and only then drawer will already have a cell height to pass along in here so yeah let's go with that let's run the app and see if it uh, runs all right and there we go now there's still a bit of a problem here which I believe is because of the action bar, it isn't being discounted for some reason or another, but I'll check it and come back to you uh, in a second. Okay, so I fixed the problem and it is because we must hide the action bar. It isn't being discounted in the get um, height of the screen, but it doesn't matter, uh, it will be fixed right now. So if you add on this line uh, in the main activity, then you can see that you are unable to scroll because uh, the cells fit perfectly in the screen. And we are have one, two, three, four, five rows as uh, we hoped. I'm going to create another um, uh, variable right here. And let's say uh, drawer pick height. And let's see what it is. I believe it is 100. Okay, 100. And I'm going to do so that the bottom, this part of the drawer, um, doesn't overlay the grid itself. So I'm going to shrink the, 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 the icons a bit more. And to do this, I'm simply going to come in here, say get displayed height, number of rows, minus, um, what did I call it? Uh, drawer pick height. That's it. Okay, and let's see if I'm going to actually change this as well. Let's see if this uh, makes it a bit better. Uh, so let's see. Whoa, that's that was a lot. Uh, that's not what I was expecting at all. Oh, let's. Uh, Let's change it to, to here. So that's obviously the problem. 
because otherwise it will be the cell height and that doesn't make a lot of sense. So let's uh, place it here between parentheses and that should uh, fix the problem. Installing APK, okay, and that's it. So it is looking exactly like I wanted it to. You are able to scroll as well. Uh, everything should be, there's a problem there, but we'll fix it again in the next lessons. But yeah, for now it looks, I mean, it looks awesome. It looks a bit like what we want to do, which was the point. So yeah, I'm happy with that. And yeah, that for now uh, it is all. Um, thank you all very much for watching. Uh, right now I'll be pushing a lot more videos because I finished finals in my college. So I'm able to, to push out as many videos as I want. I'm, I'll be uh, making a video on a cool thing that I've been working on and I've just launched on my uh, site, uh, simcolor.com, and you can go and check it out. It is the store. I've launched an app there that you guys can buy. Uh, but yeah, it, it, this is related to the Uber project. So if you are not watching it, then obviously go and watch it. But if you are not interested in it, then don't worry, it isn't for you. It probably will be in the future because I'll probably do something like what I'm doing right now with the Uber project uh, for this series as well. But yeah, uh, that's all that I wanted to say. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you are having a wonderful day and I hope to see you again tomorrow. Ciao.